I dare you to look yourself in the mirror and say that isn't gonna be good. All right, welcome to Kitchen Captain. I'm Ian Walsh and we have a good one today. A simple, easy Puerto Rican grilled chicken that we're gonna make a garlicky cilantro sauce to smother this thing afterwards. Let's go. Okay, step one, we're gonna break this whole bird down. De-sheath. Is it a sheath? It is, yeah? Yeah. yeah. De-sheath your kitchen shears. Grab this little backbone and we're gonna cut on either side of the spine. You're gonna hear some crunching. This thing's giving me a little battle, isn't it? There we go. We're actually gonna use that. We're gonna grill that thing too. With this thing opened up, we're gonna cut right down the middle and just split it into two. Two halves of a chicken. And we're gonna separate the breast side from the leg side. Same thing on the other side. Get your leg and breast separated. There's like this rib bone that's connected to the thigh that we're gonna take this piece off. You kind of gotta pop it out of that joint there first. Okay, we have our chicken all broken down now and we're just gonna add some slices into these thigh and leg bone pieces. Three slices on the top, one on the bottom. And we're gonna go down all the way to the bone, flip it over and do one diagonally and into our mixing bowl we go. Press. We're gonna tuck this little wing back. Same with that other little wing ding-a-ling. And it goes. Okay, now we're gonna wash these filthy hands and then marinate this chicken. Which is gonna start with one tablespoon of distilled white vinegar. One tablespoon of olive oil. I don't know if anyone's taking note, but that was a pretty stellar pour. Following our distilled white vinegar and our olive oil is gonna be four teaspoons of granulated garlic. That's a thing of beauty right there when your teaspoon just fits perfectly in the head of that jar. Something to behold. Four teaspoons of that, good old dusting. Get on there, you little The catalyst to this entire Puerto Rican grilled chicken is this Saison. So we're mixing this Saison with an adobo seasoning and that's what's making this so goddamn good. And if you wanna make your own Saison, you can just Google it and figure out what spices are in there and add what you need. Don't add what you don't need. Or you can just get these little packets and do your thing. The amount of Saison we want is two and a half teaspoons. It's gonna give this thing a nice vibrant orange color. So if you get these same packets I have, then it's about a packet and a half-ish. Pack it in three quarters. Pack it in a quarter. There, we are saisoned. Following the saison, we have oregano. Quarter teaspoon of that. That's part of that adobo party seasoning. Okay, gonna give my teaspoon a little wipe -see. Oh, see, that's how orange that stuff is. One teaspoon of salt. About a half a teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper. As always, it's all in the neck. So now let's get nasty and just start mixing this around. And while you're in here getting nasty, like lift up the skin on the breast and the thighs and rub down the meat with this seasoning and marinade. I was reading Cook's Illustrated the other day and it was one of those recipes that just hit me right in the forehead and was like, okay, drop everything. We gotta make that meal at once. And here we are. Chicken is thoroughly coated. I'm gonna wash these filthy hands again and we're gonna cover this and refrigerate it and let it marinate overnight, 24 hours, and it's game on tomorrow. All right, 24 hours later, we have a grill that is ripping hot. We're gonna go lay these things on and get them going. And I have my coal set on one side and none of them on the other. We're gonna cook this chicken skin side up on the side without coals for about 15 to 20 minutes. Trying to put the bigger chunks of the breast closer to the fire. And yes, we are gonna cook this backbone as well because according to Puerto Rican lore, you cook that. Close this up, 15 minutes, come check on it, let it do its thing. Now we're gonna make our garlicky cilantro sauce that is gonna take this dish to the upper stratosphere. So we're gonna start with six cloves of garlic. Get in there by any means necessary. Just battling the stickiness right now, entrenched in battle. We're gonna take our garlic press because we're gonna work this into a paste. Get all that good stuff out of there. Didn't just spend all that time peeling the garlic to not use it, did we? 
pinch of salt or quarter teaspoon if you need a measurement. And we're gonna start making a paste with the edge of our knife. And if you're crunched for time, just skip this step. Chuck it right into your pan and move on. Now we're gonna take a disposable little tin pan, take our paste, put that right in there. Some fresh cilantro, and give that a rough chop. And we're aiming for about a quarter cup. And if it's more, great, because I love cilantro. Back to our distilled white vinegar quarter cup. I think that's why I was so excited about this recipe was that there is vinegar involved in the cooking. Anything with a little bit of tang, it's the quickest way to my heart. Okay, quarter cup olive oil, about a quarter teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper. Wooden spoon, give that a little mix. I dare you to look yourself in the mirror and say that isn't gonna be good. That's ready to go. Now we're gonna check our chickens, flip them to the other side, give them another 15 minutes or so, and then we're gonna be ready to finish this dish up. Oh, good God. And we're gonna flip them skin side down now on this cool side of the grill. So once we flip them, we're gonna close this up, give them another 10 to 15 minutes, and we're gonna probe check them and aim for about 150 degrees internal. Looking amazing. And while this is going, I'm just gonna chuck our pan in, even though it does not fit, not even remotely close. So I was gonna try to Tetris that chicken to get it to fit, but it's not gonna. We're gonna let this start simmering over the hot side of the grill for about two to three minutes, then take it off and our sauce is gonna be ready for when we wanna use it. Let's give this back giant breast a little probe check. 153, so now we're gonna move these things skin side down on the hot side. And we're just gonna let them brown the skin for two to three minutes. Now we're gonna chuck these into our pan, cover this with foil. Pan is definitely burning my fingertips. Chuck it back in there, another five minutes or so. These things are good to go. I can hear it sizzling in there. We're gonna let this rest for 10 minutes before we cut into anything. Time to get this thing inside. Oh, wow. Come have a look at this. That makes me smile. So we're gonna take our big breast pieces. So we're just gonna cut these right in half, right through the bone at the bottom. I'm keeping as much of this juice as I can in our pan here because I wanna be able to use that. Definitely second guessing my bowl size choice. Oh, might be absolutely perfect. Milk every morsel of that nectar out of there. That sauce is a winner. Let's give these things a little brushing. Let's get into this. That was a really big bite. Maybe too big, I'm struggling through that one. Unreal. I mean, I like everything about this. Cooked outside on a barbecue, tons of good flavors. I mean, what's not to love in this thing? Pair this bad boy with some beans and rice and you're just like levitating right to the Caribbean. This would be good in an oven if you don't have a grill, but if you have access to a grill to get that good fiery char or charcoal char. Okay, let's go full caveman, try out one of these legs. Mmm. I didn't even think about that, but a caveman grunt came with it. I had no idea what Saison was. Never even heard of it, but apparently it makes chicken phenomenal. Saison. Pretty fast, pretty easy. Puerto Rican chicken, an absolute winner. Thanks for watching.